Hello, hi, welcome to the introduction and table setup video for Civitas 2230. I'm James Bradley, the creator of the Civitas Universe series of games, and here we go. So this is a standard setup for a three player game. We'll start with just discussing what the resources are in the game itself, and then we'll go into the general layout and then we'll talk about secret objectives and then we'll kind of finish off there and move on to the next video. So first of all, let's have a little look at the pieces that we have in the game. So in the game, we have a presidential map for each player. There's four of these in the base game. If the Kickstarter reaches certain stretch goals, then we'll be increasing to five players or six players. So we've got eight presidents at the moment. We could then go to 10, or then we could then go to 12 if we reach certain stretch goals. So fingers crossed that we do. Um, but at this present moment in time, it's totally great as a four player game, four players plus eight presidents. So you get four Civitas to choose from and eight presidents. So players will place their presidential mats, these mats here in front of them, directly in front of them. And as you can see here around the table, they've done the same for Civitas Tau. That's where they would be sat. They're sat here as well and Civitas Theodore is sat over here too. Now there's a loose rule in the game where um, we separate the secret objective cards from the policy deck and we hand out two secret objective cards to each player. When we do that is, is up to the game table. We either do secret objectives first and then players choose their Civitas or we do Civitas selections first and then players get their secret objectives it's up to the table you guys can do a vote on it something like that to see where you go with with regards to that but it will shape the the game because there are certain there are certain secret objectives that favor other civitas over over others and that's just kind of like um a good way of kind of stepping in and getting the game going if you know what i mean so so there's there's that process as well um that's the civitas the civitas um, president mat or player mat that you get they're double-sided the on the other side you have a different president with a different set of, of setup instructions, etc., etc. But that's it for that. Now let's talk about our our pieces. So in the game, we get these these blue bars. Now they're transparent in the physical game. Uh, transparent blue, transparent red, transparent green, all that sort of stuff. That, that's the pieces in general. But um, these ion bars in Tabletopia, basically, we can't have transparency. So just um, bear that in mind when we're having a look at this. But yeah, these are the these are ion. Now ion is the ION. ION is the energy of the Civitas universe. That's what you use to basically fuel things like build. So building of zones, you'll need you'll need ION. Building of facilities, you'll need ION. And um, enacting certain policies that 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 um that are technology based, they need ION. Moving over here, we have material cubes. So the Civitas Nihilium player has blue material cubes. The Civitas Tau has red material cubes. Theodore has has purple here but it's slightly purple kind of pinkish in the physical game and the Civitas McMurdo player has the orange material cubes now these are the materials that you use to kind of um the kind of uh help to build the the zones and the facilities as well as the ions so the the energy is is pumped in if you can imagine that's like electricity and then the material cubes if you can imagine that's like bricks mortar cement etc etc in the future in this alternative retro futurism future that we live in in civitas in civitas um in civitas 2230 the material cubes are actually print material so they're they're like 3d printers obviously it's a two-dimensional world but they're they're material that print that prints the um the buildings and stuff very futuristic uh, that's material cubes now we have the cnx pat blue meeples the cnx pat blue meeples work with these cards so as you can see these are all character cards and they're all blue meeples so each one correlates to a blue meeple these cards come out every every so often they're not as they're not as common as you might think they can be in two player games but they're not they're not necessarily as common in, in the larger play in the games. They come out definitely and they are very powerful, but it's very easy to distinguish them because you just basically place your card next to a hex that you've built. You stick your you stick your blue meeple on that hex and then you know that that that, that blue meeple is that person there. They're blue because they come from Civitas Nihilium. They're Civitas Nihilium expatriates. Civitas Nihilium is in something called its days of decay and people are leaving Civitas Nihilium and those people if you think about it a very successful um, a very successful country or a very successful very successful society when they start to decay and start to lose popularity and things start to go wrong the thought leaders of that population the people that are that originally drove that 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 place to its to its 
to its um to its greatness is now are now leaving because they're they're disillusioned and they're looking for other for other places to take them in so in this world where it's a consumer driven decision whether or not you live in 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 x civitas or the other civitas it's it's all about the best trying to get the best people for your civitas and that they're all leaving the the the, the metropolis the mega metropolis the superpower for example they're leaving they're going into this deck here and then they get bidded on later on but they're represented by these blue meeples here over here we have the gray meeples which are um, again they're, they're, they're sort of like transparent gray in the game these represent standard patriots standard population population for your civitas they are the kind of the workers i guess they are the um they are the families they're the people they're the standard standard people now they they come to your civitas when you have a certain amount of reputation they arrive into your crc over here which is the central hex they come into this area here from the stash that's the stash where you put them over there they come over here they land there and then at a certain point in the game you gain bonuses for how how many people you have in your citizens registration center where citizens become patriots and then later on um prior to that you actually before that you actually place these you can put them to work in different zones and different hexes and stuff and they can build things for you or maintain activity so they maintain the the active status of hexes and stuff so they're very important but there's lots of them there's actually 50 in the base game that you get in the pieces or plus over plus the overflows which are these pieces here so they're like um cardstock overflows so as you can see if you flip them that's four so you get a, this obviously represents four of these meeples here and then you get five we've never had to use the overflows all that much you do you do if you're playing like a four player game and you're in the, the you're in the last sort of stages of the game but that tends to be not that often especially when you've got 50 of these in play so that's the that's the meeples now we're going over to um just make sure that you you're aware that material cubes we've got the different colors there there they are there now we move over here to our to our kind of bank area and our bank area this is here because of the, the points point section but our bank area basically consists of a a pile of industrial zones which are which are the hexes which are zones here so you have an industrial commercial and you have a residential very sim city-esque with the green the blue and the and the yellow if you remember sim city 2000 what a great game this is a nod to sim city um and then next to the zones you have the facilities and these are very similar in color so you have the facilities which are blue they're the ones that connect that can connect only to commercial zones and then we have facilities that are yellow they can connect only to industrial zones and then we have facilities that are green they can connect only to residential zones now there's there's an equal amount of of facilities here that 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 that, that can join with the with the zones that are actually in the pile there now at setup when when players are drafting or or taking these these particular hexes these two piles of hexes are separate but later in the game well at the beginning of the, of the game round they actually get shuffled together so you you end up taking zones or you take facilities from this pile at the at the end of at the end of your actual standard turn over here on the left hand side is your ether now ether in the universe is is basically currency so ether we have denominations of one three and five i've changed these colors now to be to be uh white because they don't actually look very good in the physical prototype so they're white and they're a lot larger and they're they're in denominations of million because in the previous games we were getting ether for individual characters and it was individual units of ether so one ether two ether three ether we changed that now to one million ether three million ether five million ether because you're dealing on a much larger scale these are these are presidents of actual their own respective civitas so so yeah we're in the millions there and then obviously this is the inactive zone for the for the ion now placing things in your area how you actually do it the civitas nihilium player has has their inactive ion on the left hand side this is the same for all players um up until about here up until about there then after that this is this is unique to civitas nihilium every player will have an active area which is here on the left hand side this is where all of your resources that are listed in the start section go to when they're active so basically the resources here will be ether so you would have an ether coin here if you started with ether ion so as you can see there it says 30 ion so we've got 30 ion there 30 standard patriots they would come over here but then they would go into the crc and then be spread out 
your facilities and zones and this is for six facilities two zones plus one iz so that's an industrial zone they will go into your hand cn expats they go into the crc and material cubes they come over here as well so that's the that's the active area of your civitas and you have an active area you have your hand and then you have your crc and all these different pieces go into different places but it's predominantly this area here plus your hand is your active area now over here on the right hand side is your inactive area now this is where your material cubes go nothing else goes there because the rest of the inactive stuff go to their respective their respective stashes their respective bins um to the right of the um civitas nihilium player is the bidding deck which which at the beginning of the game consists of policy cards the secret objectives will get shuffled into into there as well but then next to the next to the bidding deck we have the cnx pats which are the character cards and they go next to next to the policy cards which are the which amount to the bidding deck and these get shuffled in when play when when um when population leaves civitas nihilium so when 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 civitas nihilium loses population these guys get shuffled in there for one to one and they convert to these to these blue meeples and then they get up for the bidding deck that's basically it for the civitas nihilium side if we go over and we'll just sort of run it through again with regards to the civitas theodore player so the civitas theodore player so eight reputation three policy points so we would just take this over here stick that on eight stick that on how many policy points three policy points stick that on three policy points like so and then zero ether so we don't take any ether we don't take any ion zero patriots two facilities two zones zero cn expats and six material cubes so we go one two three there four five six there and then that's that player set up we do exactly the same on the other side follow down the other side over here for civitas tau Civitas Tau has a slightly different start starting section. Okay, Civitas Tau, 13 reputations. We just stick this cube over on the 13, 13 reputation on the League of Patriots over there. There we go. That goes over there on the League of Patriots scoreboard. And then zero policy points. So when you have zero, you stick your cube just here. Nihilium also has zero policy points. So we put that there as well. Six million ether. We go over to the bank and we take six million ether. That's a three. And that's a... Uh, five that's a three that's a three there we go so three million ether goes there on the left hand side four standard patriots so if you remember that's these guys we take these one two three four highlight those bring them over here they go into the crc okay where where citizens become patriots they go there two facilities and two zones we'll get to drafting hexes in a second and then two cn expats so we go over to the cn expat pile we shuffle, oops, we shuffle, and then we take the top two, and we take our respective meeples for those two as well, and they come over here with us, lovely, jubbly, oops, let's come back and get that guy in a second, so we put our two CN expats here, and this one here, and the CN expats go into the CRC as well, so they stay there like that, and that's that's the setup for Civitas Tau done. The facilities and zones is another is another section of the setup, which we'll get to in a second because they have the specific rules, including a mulligan, and we'll get to that later. But that's basically the general setup and an introduction to what the pieces are and what everything is. If playing with a four player game, you would place the scoreboards in a different position that basically makes things work for you. However you want to do it, it doesn't matter. The position of the scoreboards could be on the corner here. They could be in the middle. They could be anywhere. They work quite well in a three player game over here and in a four player game, they work quite nicely going down the middle side by side like that policy point scoreboard is here that goes from 1 to 25 reputation scoreboard is here that goes from 1 over to 25 as well when you when you're playing to to 50 reputations this is 25 reputation when you're playing to 50 reputation you would you would then add a second cube to this situation and you would be on that number there which is underneath the teal number so 26 27 28 29 respectively okay and that's that's what that icon indicator means right there so reputation is this rosette here that's what that that's what that symbol actually means the two cubes here mean the plus one basically giving you a plus uh, 25 whenever you're in whenever you add that extra add that extra um, cube we'll get to this area here in, in, in another video but over here as well with the policy points it's the same thing there's the policy points logo and obviously that goes all the way up to 25 and then you add another you add an extra one on here which would enable you to go to 26 27 etc 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 should you gain that many policy points 
First player to hit 13 policy points takes the top card from the bidding deck. And then when you get to 25 policy points, each player to reach 25 policy points may now look at the underside of each card in the bidding draw during the bidding round prior to making their bids. We're racing ahead here, but that's basically the setup in a nutshell. Okay, guys? Cool. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.